Oh, my stuff's on fire. Is my wand made out of wood? That would suck. Hey, look, I'm not getting cooked alive. I lied. Oh, man, my w wand is made out of wood. That's a bummer. Ha ha ha! Fragger, come to the dark side, my friend. Doesn't it look fun, though? It is so much fun. No, 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 no! Check it out! Oh, those are good pools! If I remember right. Also, I can get that shrine over there. Can I just get up here? Oh, did you see that? There's a falling star! No, I saw it. I, I did. I did see it. I saw the... Oh, it's this thing on fire. I'm not even wearing that. Whatever. Okay. I'm on fire. Okay. I lied. I'm on fire! Eat the apples. I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Jeez. Stupid fire. Oh, great. Running right into the bad guys. All right, we're going to go to that shrine, apparently. No one shoot me. There's a tower. I think I can make that one? Without getting cooked alive? Oh! Korok. Dive! No! Wrong button, you dummy. Oh well, it feels good. Yes. Oh. Uh, healed me. It feels so good. i do it again. It requires a whole new console. Do you not have a Wii U either? I originally got this for the Wii U, actually. And I loved it so much that uh, I needed to get it for the Switch. Yes! But dropping three more spunk. Yeah. And that's what happened when I bought the Wii U rooster. I was like, man, that's too much money for one game. Because I was originally just looking at Super Mario Maker. And then I was watching a lot of people play Breath of the Wild. And I was like, you know what? This just looks like a blast. I'm going to get it. That's, that's the thing. Is like, There's got to be a couple... Fire keys. There's got to be a couple key games that I'm just like... That makes the console worth it. So I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, but I actually didn't have that kind of thing with the, the Switch. Because there was only one game that I really wanted. Or there wasn't any real game that I wanted. Because I already had the Breath of the Wild, right? However... Since there's a bunch of third-party support and stuff for Switch, that was kind of a tugging point. But what made me get the Switch... Jay did beating the crap out of things, sir. Um, was going to TwitchCon, and I was like, oh, man, I can just... I can have a travel console, essentially. And so I got this game, of course. Um, I got Moonlighter, uh, Darkest Dungeon, and uh, a ton of free demos. And uh, I was just like, yep. That is what we'll do. Where am I going? Wasn't there a shrine? Apparently this way. I should be careful where I'm swimming. Just because there's no... There we go. Oh my gosh, look at all the lizards that were here. No! There was like four lizards. And I missed them all. Dang it. I think those are I think those lizards are used for upgrades too. Because I remember my first playthrough, I had to come to the mountain and freaking try to farm those stupid things. And it was a pain in the ass. Oh 
Yeah, the money. I totally understand. Totally understand. That's that's a big investment. And like, to be honest, I don't use the switch to its most efficient is the wrong word. I don't use it as much as I should. It doesn't really leave my my entertainment area. You know, like buddy at my work uh, that got the switch. Like he carries it with him. He has he carries it in his backpack that he takes everywhere. And I'm like, see, that's the way to do it. Cause, but he also has stuff to do. Like after work, I come straight home. There's never really anything I have to do. You know what I mean? But he's like, yeah, I, I go to the s swim meets for my kids, and you know, it's like, yeah, I could see wanting to take or have a, a portable console in that point. But there we go. Couple more things for our inventory there. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, that I don't travel to really get the full use of the switch. What is over there? Oh, that's the elephant that I, we did. What's down there? Have I been there? That's not Zora's domain. They wouldn't be that close, would they? No way. Also, there's the tower I wanted. I totally missed it. Oh, Fragger, speaking of, uh... Speaking of... We weren't even talking about it, actually. Um... I'm actually, I'm planning on trying to go to TwitchCon this year again. So I'm going to try to start saving up if I, and hopefully I'll have leave time. Hopefully the government doesn't shut down again. So, uh, if you were on the fence and open to go with, or no other people that were going, I might be one of those people. And anyone else that is on the fence of going to TwitchCon, your friendly neighborhood Vasive may be there. Or is at least going to shoot for it, but I'm not... I'm not one of those people that can plan that far out. Whoa. That's a big old boulder. Another one. Where am I? Alright, we're going that way. This is interesting. Hey, our friend! Oh. oh, we meet again. How are you holding up? In case you were wondering about the song I performed at the stables, there are many theories about its origin. But according to my teacher, it was a song performed by the ancient hero to call his horse companion. He's playing a pony song. <laughs> if, you have, if you ever feel like hearing it, feel free to drop by. Anyway, time to get back to it. I have to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down to me by my teacher. You want to hear it? Yes. Excellent. Without further ado. Oh, story. Kingdom of Hyrule is a vast and storied land, oft grasped in the palm of a villainous hand. A dark force of destruction, many times undone, rises once again, Ganon, the Calamitous One. I love that name. I hated it at first. But hope survives in Hyrule, for all is not lost. Two brave souls protect it, no matter the cost. A goddess blood princess and a fearless knight, they appear in each age to fight the good fight. Their battle with Ganon, I've committed to song to keep it through time, no matter how long. Oh, heck yeah, man. Now begins the second verse. Listen and you'll know of their battle with Ganon 10,000 years ago. The kingdom of Hyrule was once a land of lasting peace, a culture of such strength and wit that suffering did cease. But Ganon lurked beneath the surface, strengthening its jaws, so the ancient people of Hyrule sought out to help the cause. 
Their efforts bore fruit in an automated force to help avert calamity by sealing it at its source. Four giant behemoths for which power never ceased, each of these titans was called a divine beast. Elephant friend! And free-willed machines that hunted down their prey, these guardians were built to last so they could join the fray. To guide the beasts in battle, warriors were needed, so four champions pledged to see Ganon defeated. Divine Beast Guardians, Princesses and Knight, their plan to route Ganon was looking all airtight. And when Calamity Ganon reared its head, Hyrule rose against it. The optimism of Hyrule all the more incens incens incensed it. Ganon raged in its assault, boiling with hate. It gnashed its teeth and thrashed about, but it was all too late. The Guardians kept the heroes safe through every hour. The Divine Beast unleashed attacks that weakened Ganon's power. The hero with the sealing sword struck the final blow, and the holy power of the princess sealed again and so. And that is the story of the brazen attack on Calamity Ganon 10,000 years back. You gonna try this year? Dope, dude. Did I already say that? That'd be awesome. We'll have to, um... We'll have to go... <laughs> go out and get some dinners or something. Thank you for listening. Please come back and hear it again sometime. All right. Thanks, buddy. Ooh, axe. Oh, I'm good. Mine. No, not bombs. Actually, focus on this stupid... Eh. Album. Delete, yes. Delete, yes. No. Delete, yes. Some of these pictures are funny. Her? <laughs> what is that? Are crows actually not a thing? There is crow. Got him. Get the crow. All right. Let's see if we can find a dog. Doggo. There's a donkey. Iron sledgehammer. Yes. Uh, I kind of need that to keep me cool. Thank you. Oh, let's cook some food because uh, I really need to. I was just thinking about this. I'm going to hold this. And um, let's add an acorn. I don't know. Full recovery plus four. Holy cow. That's actually kind of cool. All right. What about uh, durian with... Uh, uh, a fish. Uh, Hyrule bass. Full recovery plus four. Okay. What about two of them? Full recovery plus eight. Holy crap. What about three of them? Holy crap. Full recovery plus 12. Let's do a couple of those. 
Heck yeah, dude. Get all the lives. Also, I think bananas do something good, too. I think I liked bananas more than those, actually. Let's see. Three bananas. Oh! Nope, bananas do attack. Hell yeah. I'm cool with that. Hey, okay, doing all sorts of weird stiff dogo. Sorry, we're gonna be doing some simple cooking here. I don't know what things I can do to keep myself cool. Do I have anything? Stealthy. Increase your strength. Cool. What if I do that? Three of those. Oh, heck yeah, buddy. like that. All right, let's see if there's any cold resistance. Or er, withstand heat, rather. Uh, heat resistance, here you go. Uh, cook it with the uh, acorn, I guess. There you go. We'll cook some of those. There's our heat resistance. So, uh, maybe we'll be able to traverse the mountain if I get enough of these. Eh, I'm gonna keep the meat in case we find a dog. I did a critical one of those, apparently, because one of those had a the two down there. That's that's the crit sound. Did a crit cook. Is it just because I'm using acorns? Oh, that one gave me no life. Whatever, I, I'm not cooking these for life. Alright, we got a bunch of heat resistance. Hopefully, this will be enough. Alright, one more. Oops. Increase attack power, increases your movement speed. Cool. I got some heat resistance, yo. Look at that. Oh, I thought that horse was white. It's purple. Lizard and a horn makes some sort of potion. I wish I had this kind of artistic skill. Have you come to look at this picture, too? It's so beautiful. I could spend hours just looking at it. This painting was made by Ozonda, the owner of this stable, or so I hear. That volcano in the background, it's so majestic, and the stable is so subtle in the scenery. I think the stable was painted from a southern direction. The composition is just so impressive. Oh, I probably have to take a picture of it. No doggo? Alright, do I have a lizard? I kind of want to see if I can make whatever thing that's talking about. Lizard, and it was one of these, right? Hold. It was the black lizard, which I didn't pick up. Where is that? I lost where the shrine was. I should take out a horse. If I abandoned them so quickly. Stupid wizard. Let's just do this shrine real quick. Birds! Let's go! Get hammered. Raw whole bird. You want some? Oh, not wasting those. 